Welcome to the sporting segment. Over 20 of this country's referees attended the five-day FIFA's Membership Association referees course from yesterday, Monday, February 6th, continuing until February 9th at the Annisville Sports Complex. The facilitators for the course are FIFA instructors Joseph Taylor and Victor Stewart. The course covers a wide range of areas to include fitness, application, new teaching modules, amendments to the laws, to the laws of the games, fouls, misconduct, positioning and movements, and the offside rule. Prior to the official opening of the course, participants will undergo a fitness session from 9 a.m. at the Annasvale playing field, after which the selection would be made of, these, of those eligible to attend the course. President of the SBG Table Tennis Association, SBG TTA, is anticipating an exciting and productive year for the sport as his executive intensifies efforts aimed at keeping players active and encouraging more persons to become more involved in the sport. The six players expected to compete in this tournament are Robert Ballantyne, Sean Stanley, Damian Dublin, Joseph Carrington, Romano Spencer, Carlton Daniel, Javier Dichon is the standby player. Jack said an interzonal tournament is also a marked for Beckway. And with some cricket news, former West Indies head coach Phil Simmons has been appointed technical consultant to the Afghanistan national side. The Afghanistan Cricket Board, ACB, said that the 53-year-old, who was sacked as West Indies coach last September, five months after overseeing the size capture of an unprecedented second 20 T20 World Cup in India, will assist current head coach Lachand Rajput. Meanwhile, West Indies cricket legend Sir Kirtley Ambrose will be part of the commentary panel as ESPN brings exclusive coverage of the West Indies Cricket Board's Regional Super 50 tournament. Sir Kirtley will be joined by another legend of the game, Jeff Dujan, the former West Indies wicketkeeper batsman. ESPN's coverage will be brought live from the newly renovated college cricket ground in Antigua and will feature nine matches, including semi-finals on February 15th and 16th and the final on February 18th. That's a look at the sporting highlights. Following this commercial break, we bring you the regional news.